is uh, now we are try in the last steps of uh, landing so tell me about your uh, reaction sir yeah it's a really really a uh, uh, day has come uh, where in the a lot lot many days many people have worked tried and uh, starting from uh, 2004 for chandrayaan mission all the way of finding a water on the moon having done that what next when we move uh, chandrayaan 2 has been ambitiously placed and as was keep moving but unfortunately we could not make it uh, in a uh, soft landing could not take place properly but now we starting that yes the it has given enough data uh, enough learning so with that i think chandrayaan has been reconfigured and uh, retested reverified and uh, now i think things have been done uh, very well and today's plan uh, if everything is going fine with all the redundancies in a place all the plan b is in place and uh, the wider area have been located and uh, for the giving the priority for the landing soft landing is the uh, priority with that i think uh, the vikram is moving uh, for a yeah, possible positive soft landing on the lunar uh, south high latitude along with the pragnyan so then the pragnyan coming out and doing its rolling round and doing an in situ analysis on the moon and uh, taking the selfies of both of them vikram and uh, pragnyan and uh, indicating yes Yeah, India made uh, system is moving around in the lunar surface. That too, on the uh, uh, southern hemisphere of the moon, is really, really a wonderful thing. And uh, things follow. I think we expect uh, a lot more, lot more back in the moon in the decades to come. I think humanity is going to get a, a new boon, a new hope, uh, a new energizing uh, the. both not only in science i think the overall the humanity also i i feel i expected to gain a lot lot more in this effort so all these things are uh, will done automatically or it it can able to uh, handle manually also no until landing on the moon is concerned uh, uh, manual commands which have been already placed with the plan a plan b configuration once given a cue everything will go in automatically but after landing yes uh, the subsequent operations will be uh, in a both more more of more of a man in loop uh, configuration uh, identifying when to deploy the pragnyan rover and uh, pragnyan rover how to move and when to take the photos i think all the things uh, and when to operate each one of the instruments all the things will be uh, man in loop from the ground commands challenge for this mission sir uh, i don't expect because uh, an abundant precaution uh the system will be switched off uh, you know in a in a very big height uh, so because of that and as yes, the air also not to reach there and uh, not much i, I expect that because in abundant precaution things uh, will be the thrusters will be switched off and um, in, in a high in a height from there it will uh, uh, allow to fall in a free fall so because of that uh, the expected uh, issues on the dust is not expected much in this under your leadership chandrayaan 1 uh, found the water and moon so what kind of discovery chandrayaan 3 will be done sir? okay chandrayaan 3 uh, first and foremost is the in situ analysis chandrayaan 1 is more of a remote sensing so chandrayaan 2 is in situ it's confirm whatever chandrayaan 1 said is okay in situ and beyond that uh, it's uh, the nature of the surface nature of the lunar soil and uh, yes well as the technicality point of view landing on the moon softly i think these are all the uh, next uh, graduation from chandrayaan 1 to chandrayaan 2 beyond that beyond that uh, having the very modest science instrument called uh, uh, lips uh, laser induced electron spectrometer and uh, another with the alpha source instrument will do an active in situ analysis of the uh, chemical mineral composition of the lunar surface where it's landed so uh, fingers crossed uh, hope look for uh, some anything new in this mission or consolidate whatever we have seen in the uh, previous mission so after this victory moon is a stop for uh, uh, travel which is going for the another planet it will be thing or na tamil la ketra sir enakku romba english varla இது வந்து ஒரு ஸ்டாப்பாக இருக்குமா இல்லை நிலவுக்கு மனிதனை கூப்பிட்டு போகிறதா இருக்குமா இல்லை வேறு கிரகத்துக்கு மனிதன் வாழக்கூடிய இடம் இருக்கா அப்படின்னு கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்கான ஒரு ஸ்டாப்பிங்காக இருக்குமா 
no various possibilities exist various possibilities exist one possibility being uh, why can't this uh, lunar uh, base can be an alternate for the uh, lun uh, international lunar international space station around the earth instead of uh, having a low earth international lunar space international space station which needs to be refurbished uh, every year we have to push it with the amount of fuel and maintenance is a very costly instead of that why can't we have a, a lunar space station to start with then possible the if 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 there are some minerals uh, are the rare elements which will help back to the humanity whether that can be harnessed is another one another one is you doing a space astronomy from the space from the space and near earth you whatever you do versus the from other side of the moon when you do from the pole when you do the astronomy it's a very very clear space you will see so space astronomical lab is another possibility exist and beyond all these things when everything goes through you are able to harvest water you are able to harvest hydrogen you are able to harvest energy properly and we have able to get some of the minerals and which can be harnessed possible outpost for to the mars is another technical possibility like that i foresee a good number of possibilities depending upon what we see here how is we are able to make and how good all the nations at least the front line lesson nations into the loop being india china china america russia european nations putting together if all the people have worked together i think things will go faster and more and more newer uh, things beyond whatever i told uh, from starting from international lunar space station out station i think many things are possible including uh, the tourism yes the tourism also is uh, uh, another equal possibility uh, wherein if you are able to build some decent habitat uh, there i think that's also an equal possibility uh, that way i think it gives a lot more room uh, in the years to come பல நாடுகள் நிலவுக்கு செயற்கைக் கோள்களையும் விண்கலங்களையும் அனுப்பினாலும் கூட இந்தியாவின் விண்கலங்களை உற்று நோக்குகிறது உலக நாடுகள் இதுக்கான காரணம் என்ன இந்த வெற்றிக்கு பிறகு சந்திராயன் மூணு வெற்றிக்கு பிறகு இந்தியா இஸ்ரோ உடைய இடம் என்னவாக இருக்கும் உலக அரசியல் ஓகே பேசிக்கலி இந்தியா இஸ் நாட் டூயிங் கம்பீட்டிங் வித் எனிபடி அல்ஸ் பட் இந்தியா கம்பீட்ஸ் வித் இட்ஸ் ஓன் Uh, chandrayaan 1 to 2 2 to mangalyaan mangalyaan i chandrayaan it's like that it is a competition uh, how effectively how uh, economically we can make the missions how compact you can make the mission and make sure that mission succeeds i think that way i think we we are uh, making our own milestones are really uh, the things for the uh, to come and again whatever whatever we are learning here i think we are feeding back to the other missions like remote sensing communication navigation uh, to make it an affordable point of view that way i think uh, we have done reasonably well this point is being uh, looked uh, uh, from the other nations okay when nominally the space considered to be a uh, very costly affair but now we are we are telling it is not a costly affair we can do it in a much uh, affordable way I, and we can make it more reliable also and we can make it succeed also i think this combination uh, of a triangle of uh, less cost less schedule uh, more, more reliable and success is, is the uh, rare phenomenon people will see from space era na and that too we, we repeatedly when we do definitely the whole of uh, uh, space fair nations look upon us one side the people who have done it and other side the people who they want to do it actually i feel a good number of countries who were aspiring for space i think india is the destination i think today the indian space program also got privatized i think it's a india is a really really a point to be seen by the space faring nations